Welcome back to Clear Skies Astro, your YouTube channel for everything astrophotography related. Today we're starting a new installment, Tips and Tricks, and we're looking at the ZWO Ace Air Prone Plus. Today's topic is calibration frames, everyone's least favorite thing to do. More specifically, how do you determine the dark frame exposure after you take your flat frames with ZWO ASI Air? So a very common question I've come across many times is how do you determine the exposure time to put in for your dark flat calibration frames after the ASI Air has taken auto flat frames? Now, auto flat frame is where the SAR auto calculates exposure time based on your light panel output. Now, there's two ways to do this. There's a longer, tedious way where you let the SAR take its auto flats, and then you go into image management, open up the flat folder, select one of those flat files that the SAR just took in auto mode, and the exposure time will be written in the file name on the top left. This is going to flash real quick, so you might want to you know rewind a bit and pause that but it was showing flat underscore and then the exposure time um, it was showing other things too like which bin the temperature or the date all these are extra features that you can enable in the file naming convention within the ASA Air. now that's not the easy and quick method so here let's go through a quick example of taking an auto flat so here I've, I'm taking single auto flat with the ASA Air. It's doing its calculation and it figured it out and now it's taking that exposure. Now, the easy way is you simply go back into your auto run, reset it, and then hit that sequence, the flat sequence, and then change it from flat to dark, which we would do for dark flats as well. And then if you hit the edit button to the right of exposure, you see the to the right of the 300 there. As soon as you hit that, the SR will auto-populate the exact exposure time it took for your flat frames before this, which ends up being 2.86667 seconds that it had calculated for its flat frames. So there's no need to go into image management and go look it up and then type it in. You just hit the edit button and the SR auto-populates it. This is a great trick that the W really hasn't really mentioned it very much or made it public. I don't know why. Hopefully this uh, helps you guys take your calibration frames, which you should all be doing. It definitely does make a difference. Um, and please let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more tips and tricks or of things you guys are having issues with with the ZW SAR. So clear skies, everyone, and have a great evening.